What's up guys, it's your boy Knockout360 here and I know you can already see what's going on in the background. No need to introduce that. That is a 2018 Dodge Challenger wide body Hellcat SRT. If you didn't think this, if you don't think it's an SRT, look at it right there. It's an SRT. So today is a special day, man. Detail Garage and Charity Moose, also known as Moose Gives, has uh, allowed me to come and review their car for you guys, bring it to you. They're actually doing a giveaway where they're going to be giving away this very car here for free. Well, not necessarily for free. You're going to have to buy an entry ticket, which is going to run you about $35 to $50. They're doing this uh, giveaway all the way up until the first of the year. So you got time. They got like 400 entry slots. So you got time and you got, you know, tickets that you can buy if you want to buy multiple. Well, they're going to be giving away this brand new Hellcat right here. And I do mean brand new. They've got it already looking good for you. Tinted out, 20 inch rims anything and everything you want 305 tires all the way around look at that front end that's aggressive and mean so i'm gonna hop in the passenger seat with my man grant he's on behalf of charity moose also known as me moose um i'm gonna hop in the passenger seat with him and we're gonna roll out man we're gonna see what this car can really do normally i would hop in the driver's seat but this is a manual and your boy does not know how to drive a manual not yet i will in due time but not yet but for the time being let's go ahead and hop in Right, guys so i told you that i was going to be doing a video with my man grant here hey how's it going guys he's with moose man and uh i'll put the link in the description uh, i want you guys to go to his web page check it out go to his youtube channel check it out uh definitely subscribe and uh you know make your presence known over there so like i said we're in the 2018 dodge challenger wide body hellcat uh, i've got him driving because we're doing a manual and i don't know anything about a manual <laughs> so that's all him so we're just going to talk to him he's going to run down everything man and we'll go from there man all right so uh i guess at this point it is the 6.2 liter uh v8 right yeah yeah absolutely. Super, okay big supercharger supercharger 707 horsepower there you go gotcha and uh what about the tires what are we rolling yeah, on right so now it's rolling on the pirelli 305s okay. mm -hmm. um super super nice tires um, i previously had a zl1 and it, if you're familiar with it it comes with the goodyear f1 so these tires are super super nice it actually rides kind of like a truck real yeah. smooth uh, takes it's as heavy as a truck too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, the Pirellis are super good tires, and uh, it's sitting on the Devil Rims package. Uh, you'll see some Hellcats with them, some don't. So it's got it's fully loaded minus the sunroof. So um, the wheels are super nice. Brake dust is kind of an issue on a lot of cars with this color. Um, they're not at all. It's it's actually a really awesome color. It looks really good with the Destroyer Gray as well. Yeah, and uh, don't they come with the uh, Brembo brakes? The big was it yeah. like six eight pistons something like that i think like this that? one is six piston I okay check the spec sheet but yeah this thing will stop on a dyno as a lot of you guys know these mm -hmm. hellcats are heavy um so with all this power you know this thing can definitely move um and it just slows it down pretty good absolutely and with all that power you definitely need some huge brakes so you got yeah. the brembos up front and in the back as well yeah there you go gotcha gotcha and uh, this is the wide body pack, so this does come with the, the big 305s all the way around, right? Yeah, correct. And yeah. you don't have any issues with like rubbing or anything like that, busting a U-turn and stuff like that? No, actually, okay. the turn radius isn't too bad at all in this thing. Mm -hmm. um, I had to do a couple U-turns, you know, just riding around here in Charlotte, but it's not too bad at all. Um, it's actually a really fun car to drive. The six-speed, yeah. like you said, if you, people, if you don't know how to drive, it'll pick up real quick. Yeah. And, uh, you know, get through the gears if you can't find them, grind them. That's what they say. So, <laughs> you can't find them, grind them. I <laughs> so, like that. So we'll uh, we'll leave it at that for sure. But it's yeah. a lot of fun to drive. Just an incredible, comfortable car. Yeah. Good headroom. Yeah. Uh, Dodge. They did a really nice job with this car. And it's really big on the inside too, because you don't get that with a lot of like supercars. And you're like you, you said, you owned a Z01. That was a Maserati right there. You yeah. had owned a Z01. Like that feels like sitting in a cockpit sometimes. Yeah, so you if know? you hit a speed bump, sometimes your head will actually yeah. hit the roof. This one, you got a, you got a lot of room, and even the back seat, um, it's hard to fit. You know, anybody, you know, five, six, and up back there, um, in like a ZL1 or anything or a Mustang here. You know, you got quite a lot of room. Even the the roof in the back is really high. So, um, you know, it's just a, it's a really comfortable car. You really feel like you're in a truck almost. Yeah. Um, in all the Dodge's uh, muscle cars. So, um, I love it, man. It's it's been it's been awesome coming from a guy that's had ZL1, a Mustang. Yeah. They all have their own niche, but yeah. this is certainly a 
certainly a sweet rod. Absolutely, man. And so with the even though it's a coupe, it does have a back seat. Yeah. Sure. I mean, uh, this looks like one of the more usable back seats than any of the other two door cars I've ever been in. You know what I mean? Just because it is so big and you might actually be able to get like a full grown human back there. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? Because I can imagine in the Z01, like that was no way. Yeah, no, no way. way. Yeah. yeah. We've had people back there, uh, I'd say six foot tall in this car. Yeah. No problem. Z01, kind of be leaning to the side, exactly. trying to keep your head from the roof. But yeah. It's, uh, it's roomy, man. I've, I've even seen somebody with a car seat back there. So, uh, really? Yeah, so it's, it's, pretty, <laughs> it's pretty dang cool, man. They, exactly. They, they did their homework on it. Yeah, so that's just a testament to how big Dodge makes their cars and how comfortable they are. Like, I'm sitting here. He's sitting there. We're relaxed. Obviously, we've got yeah. plenty of arm room, shoulder room. It's it's perfect, man. And as you can see, like the gauges are kind of angled towards him, so it doesn't interfere with me at all, man. You know, and and that's the great part about Dodge and just kind of their overall construction as far as the interior is concerned. Absolutely. So this is all leather seats. Yeah. Leather with, front uh, back. Yeah, with the AC seats actually too. Yeah. So you got mm -hmm. AC seats. You got heated seats. Um, you know, it's like a split temperature AC system. So you got gotcha. your side can have temperature you want yeah. i can have mine it's got the heated steering wheel gotcha. um you know, it's got a lot it's got the back defrost the front defrost so it's uh it's this i have zero complaints usually i'll pick nick cars because yeah. i'm a car guy myself but it's it's pretty it's pretty nice i'll yeah. tell you now what what about the uh the gas mileage in this car i mean obviously 700 horsepower <laughs> big 4,000 pound muscle car. It's probably not gonna get the best gas mileage, but I mean, is it yeah, pretty absolutely. good? Is it understandable? If you, can get a, if you can get a shot of the gauge right here, this is since I've had the car and we're right at 13.8. It's almost 14 miles to the gallon. Yeah. And I've dogged it. I'm not gonna sit here and say I've been driving it around on Eco. Yeah. Uh, so we'll shift it. You know, 4,500 RPM is about normally, um, which ain't a lot in this car, but yeah. if you're looking at some other cars, 4,500, you know, is almost red light. So, yeah. um, you know, they, they did an extremely good job to, for myself on fuel economy. Um, it's not really expensive to fill up. Your gas is about 319, yeah. uh, 93 I put in, and uh, you can fill the car up with about 60 bucks. Yeah. So it's not, um, you know, it's not really nothing abnormal. It's, uh, it's actually, relatively pretty good mm -hmm. you can get about 210 miles per tank so that's good um yeah it's really you know taking on trips a lot mm -hmm. of people long distance drive them yeah uh, they're they're comfortable man exactly. i would too and just because of the size of it and how comfortable it is you can take a long trip in this and the trunk is huge massive trunk do the seats fold down in this or is that just the charger uh i don't know to be honest okay. there is room in the trunk yeah i believe they may because the way that bottom is fit yeah um, you can actually roll it up so to gotcha. me that would mean it would come down exactly and then that'd make it huge you could fit god knows what back there a lot of stuff exactly and my charger i've literally had like a 60 inch tv in the back seat of it just because i was able to push the seats down and have it in the trunk and that gave me so much room it was ridiculous man thank you yeah so that's what makes this the interior just so comfortable and kind of gives you the creature comforts is because it's so big it's luxurious but it's also you know it's uh functional in the sense that it works for you you can put stuff in the back seat you can have a human being in the back seat or a car seat like my man said yeah. and it still works out you know it's not just one of those one purpose driven type of cars like you can honestly almost have a family in here for the most part yeah, right for sure because it's a big car it's huge it's powerful it's got everything you need now um looking at the gauges here we've got the srt button we've got the launch button and uh you know basically your your traction off all that kind of stuff traction off if you're crazy but with the srt button that activates the srt gauges right yeah correct okay and that gives you like the ability to go in and change stuff and all that good stuff yeah absolutely so it actually is pretty cool see if I can find my key here. When you get a Hellcat, you get three keys, two red keys and okay. one black key. This this red key right here unleashes the full amount of power. So yeah. let's say you're going out with your girlfriend or you know <laughs> your wife and you got to valet your car somewhere nice. Yeah. Um, you would bring the black key and gotcha. it would limit the car to a certain amount of horsepower. I don't know off the top of my head, so I don't want to say wrong, but I would guess around, like you know, yeah, yeah, like 450, 500 yeah. horsepower. So, you know, technically valets are pretty good, but it also just kind of ruins their day. That, you <laughs> yeah. know, you can't, there's nothing you can do with it. Yeah. So, um, the red key definitely, when you get in the car, it'll say red key activated yeah. and then it'll give you the full power. But yeah, you can do quite a lot with it. You can do track and that just will tighten up the suspension and everything. You got your sport and that'll also do, you know, some. it's, it's a few things with the suspension is what it will do. Um, but then like auto will just put everything on street mode. So, yeah. um,
so track mode is probably like the most aggressive mode probably. yeah for sure okay. and the steering wheel gets extremely stiff but yeah. it's like that too because if you're on a road course or something yeah um you know it's easier to take the turn when you're when you're literally turning the the tires instead of you know the power steering doing it for you gotcha. um it won't let the car slide around as much it'll, it'll be pretty free totally man so that gives you full control over the car as far as how you want to you know how you want to set it up i mean do you want things kind of loose do you want things kind of tight i mean me personally i like my car to be really uh kind of stiff as far as the steering is concerned because it just it, it it stops me from like over over steering and things of that sort it allows me to have more control over the car and it doesn't allow the car to kind of control itself you know i'm in full control yeah, you know what sure. i'm saying so that's good about that uh we, so we got the launch button too uh could you talk about that yeah so bit? the launch button is yeah. cool um of course i never launched this car yeah. um but i know a little bit about it so the launch button's almost like a it's almost like a trans brake i guess you would say so mm -hmm. you can put it in first gear and you can stand on the gas but with this being a clutch um a little bit different than launching like an automatic where you just drop the brake mm -hmm. um I don't know exactly how to launch this one, but I know that you can kind of get off the clutch and rev it up yeah. and then it'll launch. Um, but I don't know. I don't really know how uh, the testament is with Dodge. It's, um, it's a lot of power. So if you can launch this car, hmm. which I'm sure that's what it's meant to do, that's uh, something the, the new owner will have to try and let us know. Might have yeah. to do it with us in it. That'd be pretty dang cool. That'd be cool too. <laughs> I'd love to be in the back seat all tight, but <laughs> yeah. I'd be in the back seat and you can do launch with- Two uh, seat belts on. <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. But that's cool, man. I mean, that really makes this car the true drag strip enabled car. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that exhaust note, but that, yeah. <laughs> I've never heard something like that yeah, before. Yeah, it's pretty man. wild. If I can get a little gap right here, you oh, can yeah, probably absolutely. hear the- uh, the power band's like 2,500, 3,000 RPMs. So yeah. You might be able to hear the supercharger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this thing's smooth. Oh, man. yeah. It's, it's, it brings a smile to your face. I mean, just that whine. Yeah. I ride, this is the only car I ride with no music. Because exactly. Because so that the engine in and of itself is music, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can feel the power just underneath me. Oh, yeah. Every time, you know, you, you downshift or upshift or whatever, yeah, I can sure. feel it, man. It, it's ridiculous. Heck yeah. This thing is powerful, man. Well, I appreciate everything, man. I mean, as yeah. always, guys, like I said, go to, uh, you said Moose? Yeah, it's uh, okay. our website is charitymoose.co. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be changing here after the first of the year to a new domain for an even bigger promotion. But um, uh, for that right there, we have our store. You can see what charities we support. Um, you can see what we've already done. We've done the Mustang. We've done ZL1. Um, on our Instagram is Moose Gives, and our YouTube is Moose Gives. And uh, it's just short for Moose Give Back, because everything we do, we try to give back to the less fortunate. Um, we're, we're big in the community. We, we try to do as much as we can um, with, with what we're trying to do. So each follow, each person that knows about us really helps us out, whether you spin or you just support. So um, appreciate Dante coming out here and, and, and uh, giving us the review. Uh, it, it shows a lot about his channel and gives you guys an inside look at some super cool cars and stuff. So um, just really thankful for you guys to be here riding with us and uh, you know, let's, let's make this a success like all the other ones. Absolutely, man. You heard the man there. So make sure you go and check out all of his uh, his links and everything. Website, the YouTube channel, Instagram page. Like I said, I'll put all of that in the description. And as always, subscribe and show those guys some love. And make sure you subscribe here as well. And as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Cool.